All right, in the next few minutes, I'm gonna show you how to create longer videos using Midjourney's new Animate feature. If you're new here, my name is Nolan Michaels. I've created almost 3,600 videos in the last couple of weeks, and here is what you need to do to extend your generations. First, you obviously have to generate a foundational picture, but once you've created your 2D image, you can hover over it and you'll see an Animate button. This will generate a five second video clip of your picture moving around. Then once you hover over that first generation of video, you'll now see the extend buttons. Clicking on this will add an additional four seconds to the end of that first video. And you can do this a total of four times right now for a maximum 21 second video. You can click auto extend and mid journey will just continue with whatever is already happening in the video, but this isn't very dynamic and can get kind of boring. I mean, you do you, but this is when I would suggest we start using manual extend. It will load your video into the prompt box and then we can use that to create a story across different extensions. We're going to erase our prompt and type something new, a new action. I will have a video coming out about camera movement, but let me show you something you could try really quick. We could type a phrase like this, the camera zooms out to a full body shot and we'll get something like this. The woman goes through her motions and then in one of the generations, the camera does zoom out into a full body shot. Camera prompts are tricky. Again, I'll have a whole video coming out about that. But if we were to click on this video, at the bottom, we will see the extensions here. There's the first video, transitioning into the first extension, and then the final four second extension right there. Like I started with a picture of this person here and I prompted for the woman is angry and points at the camera and we get this. And like, that's kind of funny, right? I'd say one of them worked pretty well. I think number two right here. But then I wanted the woman to kind of get embarrassed because she realized she was wrong or something like that. So I'd click on extend manual and literally type that into the prompt, my next action. And we get a generation like this where you can see on her face, she's like, oh, <laughs> oops. <laughs> Like, I think that is so funny looking. I think Midjourney did a great job with changing up the emotion. And then I would extend manual again to continue the scene. This time I wrote the woman smirks and laughs subtly as she realizes she's going to be okay. And to be honest, we're at the 13 second mark now. And I don't think Midjourney did a very good job with the third extension. You're going to notice that happen. Your first generation is going to be really good. The second generation should be able to continue the scene. But the longer Midjourney is forced to extend, the more it's going to stray from whatever you were hoping. As in, the quality is going to go down, it's just what I've experienced so far. Also, you should know that I did run into the moderator a few times with this, and it actually told me why I was getting rejected. It's because it was showing someone in distress, and because it was a realistic picture, I guess the bot just wasn't comfortable displaying what I was asking for. I mean, as you can see, the prompt eventually worked, but you might run into some errors. I wanna show you another example that will let me demonstrate one of the key workflows you're gonna to have to use. So I have this video right here, the woman shimmies fast. She kinda of goes through her motions, I thought that was a good start. When you click on a picture or a video to expand it like this, you'll find your creation actions in the bottom right. Now we can extend our video down here. Again, we can use auto, low, or high motion, but I went with manual again. With manual, I was able to change the motion in the prompt. I switched it to low, and I changed the prompt itself to say the woman dances like a ballerina. So she goes through her shimmy, and then in the extension, she changes up the style. It really only works here in number three. You'll see her do her spin. So I'm like, there you go. All we needed was one success, and I was gonna extend from here. So we click extend manual and I wrote a new prompt. But this time I said the woman starts break dancing. So we'll see her do her spin and then something new is gonna happen. I wanted to show you this because I have a big tip for you. Because honestly, the workflow for extending kind of sucks at the moment. You have to sit through and watch the entire scene just to see that four seconds of extension at the end. This is when scrubbing becomes super important. When you hover over a video, you'll see a little tooltip at the top that says press control or command to scrub. When you press that key on your keyboard and move your mouse left and right, you will be fast forwarding and rewinding through the video. And there is a little trick you can do to make this easier for yourself. You want to scrub until you find the extension point, right? Then let go of control or command on the keyboard. Watch one of the videos play, just like pick one to focus on. Then hit the button again, control or command, and you will go back to the spot where you last pressed the button. It's kind of finicky, but it does work and getting used to it will save you some headaches. So we're scrolling left and right through the video. I'm going to try to find the spot where she spins and then I'm going to pick one of the videos to watch. We'll start right here. 
So we watch that one. If I press command again on my keyboard, it's going to go back to the spin. Now let's watch this one. Okay, that's kind of weird. Press it again. And now let's watch this one. That might have been the best so far. Press command again, and we'll go over here to the left side. And we can see that one's not very good. Hold command or control on your keyboard left and right until you find an extension point or any point in the video, like her raising her hands right there. If I hit command again, she's gonna raise her hands. Like that point is saved to that button. That's a really important workflow. You're gonna have to get used to doing that. And then another side note, I'm sure you've noticed it so far, it definitely helps to keep your manual extensions realistic to the scene you already have. Like asking for special effects or transformations doesn't usually work well. I know that might be boring, but the AI doesn't do a very good job of straying too far from what it has already created, especially in extensions. Like if we go back Back to when she was a ballerina and then instead of asking for break dancing we say the woman turns into a bird and flies away what do you think's gonna happen i'm gonna guess nothing great even if it sort of works i bet it's not gonna work well i mean let's go find out we're actually gonna start by scrubbing to the extension point and then like right about there okay let's start on the left side here okay they are actually turning into a bird and flying away let's watch this one now number two it's kind of funny looking we'll try again right here number three that's kind of interesting that the camera follows her and then in number four mm, yeah i don't know it's not gonna like make it super beautiful or anything like that mid journey extensions work best when you keep the manual extension realistic to the scene but don't let that stop you from having fun you know Create whatever you want, go crazy. I will say that Midjourney also seems to get hard set on an idea after two generations. Like your first generation will have some variety in it to choose from, but your next extension is going to kind of converge in a particular way. Take a look at this Batman video, it's a good example. So he starts out in his 2D and then he begins running down this hall. Okay, when we extend this video, I used auto extend, and then we get something like this. So he's running down the hall and then it kind of pans to show this white void at the end of the hallway. In every generation, it does that. I don't quite know why that happens. It just seems like Mid Journey is gonna choose one sort of path forward for your extension. And then it's going to do its best across the extensions to meet that goal. You really do lose some variety when you're extending your mid-journey videos. I've shown you that you can type a different action in your manual prompts, but I believe one of the keys to successful extensions is keeping the prompt the same for a couple of generations. You might be tempted to rewrite it every time, but you're only giving the bot four seconds to animate that action. And by default, Midjourney wants to move smoothly, right? Which means it might not get to your action in that time. Like I have this video here, the action is the camera zooms out from the subject slowly, the subject bends down and picks up a suitcase. So we see her attempt to do that action, right? But with only five seconds on the first generation, she doesn't quite get there. So instead of extending and changing what's going to happen, I would just extend and keep the prompt the same. And we might get a grid like this. I'm really not impressed with one, two, or three, but number four, I'd say follows the extension of the scene the way I was thinking about it. She maybe pauses for an extra second too long, but she begins to walk away. Don't be afraid to rewrite your prompts as you're extending, but don't be afraid to keep them the same either. Now let me show off some of my favorite extensions so far. In this one, I actually kept it the same the entire way. The prompt is the camera moves away from the subject slowly. You have to give Midjourney time for the action to take place. And then what it zooms out on and the setting it reveals is really up to the bot. I mean, unless you're manually prompting for it, but I like to see what the AI wants to create. Here's a really cool extension. I say that the camera moves away from the subject slowly. And, you know, it does that barely, right? And then I wrote, the woman turns her back and starts to walk into the ocean. You know, the speed of the video kind of accelerates a little bit, but I was able to finish off the extension with this. A shark emerges from the water, a shark jumps high out of the water, and look at that. Isn't that so cool? I think this was kind of funny, like, whoa, like that... <laughs> I thought that was pretty good. It got really close to her, right? I don't know. I feel like that could trick some old people. And then be careful when you're using style raw. Maybe that's an extra tip I should give you. Because I said the same prompt, a shark emerges from the water, but it turned her into a shark and made her jump like that. <laughs> okay, well, watch this one. 
Watch this one more time. She's going and then she's a shark. And that all happened because of style raw. You can add that when you're manually prompting. And I'll just say again, be careful doing that. You might want to avoid it. There are definitely some other things you might want to know about Mid Journey's video feature. So you should really watch this video now. I hope you're doing well. Take care and I'll see you next time. Peace.